Okay, just a quick look at a smaller log, 12 and a half foot log, just with a sawn flat on it with a little simple two by sawmill. You know, makes a nice straight cut. Couple pieces of angle iron, angle aluminum, lighter, smoother. Makes for a nice clean cut. And uh, if you want to do a two sided log, say you wanted to do an 8 inch thick log, you'd switch to 2x8s instead of 2x6 side boards. Screw down to these little end boards. And maybe about three or four washers between the little angle iron. And the chain, or in between the bar and the angle iron in here, but three or four you can adjust it to fine tune it or rip down some two by tens to whatever you want. But then uh, saw one side, unscrew one board, roll it over, and screw that board back on. So then uh, you'll be sitting on this flat. You just basically roll over. You can't roll it over with a little jig on it. So just take one board off, then you can roll it one way, put the board back on the other side, good to go again. So just a very simple, simple, simple little sawmill. A couple pieces of angle iron. You need a handle on the other side. Or if you want, go to Bailey's online and buy a stinger helper handle. Do a search online, eBay, or wherever for a helper handle. If you've got a helper, that's nice. I'm working alone, so I just makeshift a little. I do have helper handles, but uh, they don't work as good as something standing up. So you can screw anything on there, chunk of wood, whatever you want. But, uh, you know, something like this, this size, this is dry spruce. You know, it just takes a minute maybe to cut this, you know, so it can go pretty fast. This is about you know, eight, nine inches on the small side. So just making little truss parts, parts and pieces for the back of this, you know, log-sided home. So. But uh, just to give you a quick rundown on this little simple jig, just a couple pieces of small angle aluminum or angle iron, some washers between the uh, angle and the bar, and one on top, just a toggle, toggle nuts, and you know, uh, it all works pretty good. Whatever you have in between here determines minus the thickness of these two sideboards, plus about a quarter to a half, whatever you want. And then, uh, you know, your angles will fit on the outside of these two bys. Slide down there. Good to go. Talk to you later. Mike.